Hi there, welcome back to In The Craft Room. It's Susan here. Today I'm going to make the double four patch from issue two. The four patch is a block which is one of the basic um, types of patchwork and it's a great one for beginners. Um, it's one of the earliest forms of patchwork. Two of the squares are made up of um, four smaller squares with the other two being the larger squares. So today I'm going to make the double four patch. In the back of the instruction booklet in issue two, it shows you the double four patch templates, which they recommend that you photocopy onto light card. I found an old manila folder in our home office, which I photocopied the template onto. It's light card, and we're going to be using these templates at a later stage with our quilt. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the two templates. As you can see, I've cut around the cutting line. This here, the dashed line, is the seam line. It's also got a straight grain arrow, which means that you need to line up this template with the straight grain of your fabric. So I've got my two templates. So these are the fabrics which come with issue two. We've got pink floral, ivory sprig, and we've also got silver spot. The large template will be used for the um, pink floral. And we're going to cut out four of the silver spot using the little template. We're also going to cut out four of ivory sprig also using the little template. I'm going to use a rotary cutter to cut out my fabric. A rotary cutter's a bit like a rolling pizza cutter or a pastry cutter. It's a bit like a Stanley knife for fabric. You're most welcome to use scissors, but I'm a bit of a wonky donkey when I cut, so I'm going to be using the rotary cutter. So I'm going to place my fabric on a flat surface. I'm going to look for the straight grain, and I'm going to place my template over it. I'm now going to use the rotary cutter and cut along the template line. my two large pieces. So these are the pieces for the double four patch. We've got our four smaller squares, the larger square, another quarter of four smaller squares, and then the, the fourth larger square. We're going to measure out the seam allowance now. 
and we're going to rule on the reverse side of the fabric the seam line. The seam line is six millimeters and we're going to measure and rule out a six millimeter seam line around our fabric. So I've ruled in the seam allowance lines on all of the squares. I'm now going to pin them together. Step two is patching the small squares together. I'm going to pin the fabrics right side together. We're now going to hand stitch the two small squares together using the top seam allowance. So I've tacked my four square squares together. Um, I'm going to use the sewing machine to ensure that they're um, stitched properly. I do feel that the hand sewing might be a bit too weak, even though traditionally patchwork is done with hand sewing. First, I'm going to iron the seams. So I've tacked the four squares together, but that's enough for today. I'll pick up where I left off. See you tomorrow.